Item Number SCP-3275 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures any manifestations of SCP-3275 are to be closely monitored. Currently, the Foundation is to allow SCP-3275 to occur, so long as the phenomenon manifests exclusively under specific, controlled conditions. The displayed image is an instance of SCP-3275-1, obtained by the Foundation for chemical analysis. Olives noted to emit a foul sulfurous odor. Original order was for a vegetarian pizza. All instances of SCP-3275-1 that come to Foundation attention are to be confiscated for analysis and subsequently disposed of using designated anomaly byproduct receptacles. Any instances of SCP-3275-1 ordered by assigned personnel are to be delivered to a facility owned by the Foundation. See General Procedure below. Level 2 or higher security clearance is required for experimental handling of SCP-3275-1 instances. Personnel interacting with SCP-3275-1 are required to wear a Level A hazmat suit, or similar PPE, while the pizza box in question is open. Personnel assigned to SCP-3275 are to make note of any SCP-3275-1 instances that deviate significantly from reasonable expectations and report such incidents to the SCP-3275 project head. Footnote 1. Currently, Dr. Alex Gans. Additionally, SCP-3275-2 has been provided with Dr. Gans's contact information and is also allowed to report incidents related to SCP-3275. SCP-3275-2 is currently allowed to maintain employment at Pizza. Footnote 2. The employers of SCP-3275-2 have been made aware that the Foundation regularly requests delivery specifically by SCP-3275-2 and have agreed to comply with Foundation activity in exchange for monetary compensation. SCP-3275-2 is not to be given any delivery orders involving unauthorized customers. Should a particularly hazardous instance of SCP-3275-1 manifest, SCP-3275-2 may be detained for questioning or additional cautionary action. The general procedure for ordering and receiving a delivery of SCP-3275-1 occurs as follows. A secure phone call from a Foundation-owned non-site building is made to the Pizza Dining Establishment SCP-3275-2 is employed at, requesting a pizza delivery. Footnote 3. Authorized researchers may request the phone number for Pizza from the SCP-3275 project head. SCP-3275-2 is specified to be the deliverer. Any toppings noted in the order may be determined by the Foundation researcher who will perform analysis of the generated SCP-3275-1 instance. An instance of SCP-3275-1 will be delivered to a Foundation-owned facility equipped with biological containment capabilities. Security guards are to allow SCP-3275-2 entrance to the facility upon confirming identity via CCTV cameras. SCP-3275-2 will deliver the instance to a security station. Security personnel have been instructed not to make direct physical contact with the cardboard box containing the instance of SCP-3275-1. A designated Foundation staff member will intercept SCP-3275-2 and exchange the instance of SCP-3275-1 for the standard payment for the corresponding non-anomalous pizza variant, as per the pizza menu. SCP-3275-2 is to vacate the premises as quickly as possible without raising suspicion. The intercepted instance of SCP-3275-1 remaining in its cardboard carrying box is to be transferred to a chemical experimentation room. From this point, only researchers assigned to SCP-3275 may handle the instance. Said researchers will analyze and prepare documentation of the instance of SCP-3275-1, which is to be subsequently disposed of in accordance with its composition. Description SCP-3275 is a recurring anomalous phenomenon that affects commercially produced pizzas delivered by an individual named Designated SCP-3275-2 
Pizzas affected by SCP-3275 are referred to as instances of SCP-3275-1, and have been noted to differ in the extreme from orders placed by customers. Specifically, requested toppings will be absent, and explicitly unwanted ones will be present. Furthermore, instances of SCP-3275-1 might possess some sort of unpalatable addition to the pizza, including excess of toppings not ordered by the recipient, variants of standard pizza ingredients giving off unpleasant odors, and inedible objects embedded into the pizza. Addendum 3275-A contains various experiment logs, with examples of different SCP-3275-1 manifestations. SCP-3275-2 is a non-anomalous human male, who is 22 years of age as of SCP-3275-2 stands 1.81 meters tall and weighs 68.5 kilos. A mugshot is available upon request for Foundation employees assigned to SCP-3275. Contact the project head for such details. It is noted that SCP-3275-2 frequently appears sloppily dressed or seems to be suffering from lack of sleep. SCP-3275-2 is currently employed as a pizza delivery person for pizza and at present has held this position for three months. It is noted that every pizza SCP-3275-2 has delivered following Foundation intervention has invariably become an instance of SCP-3275-1. Security camera footage retrieved from SCP-3275-2's workplace seems to indicate that the SCP-3275 anomaly manifests at some point following SCP-3275-2 receiving a pizza for delivery, and preceding said delivery to the customer who placed the order. SCP-3275-2 has been recorded receiving correctly prepared pizzas from the kitchen staff and confirming delivery to the correct addresses. The retrieved store footage further indicates that SCP-3275-2 does not interfere with or sabotage any pizzas given to him. SCP-3275 has not been recorded to affect any other delivery staff of pizza, and SCP-3275-2 insists that no other anomalous activity has occurred to him at any other point in his life. Footnote 4. For transcript of the full initial interview, see Addendum 3275-B. It is unknown at which point in time during the delivery process SCP-3275 actually occurs. Presently, the consensus regarding SCP-3275's range of effect is up for debate. Recent analysis of SCP-3275-1 instances have shown a certain degree of instability in SCP-3275 manifestations, suggesting that there is reason to be wary of further unpredictable variation concerning the anomaly and its range of occurrence. Footnote 5. See also Addendum 3275-A for notable incidents and experiment log excerpts. Addendum 3275-A Selected excerpts of notable incidents and experimental logs. Incident Log 3275-000 Date Ordered Pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. Delivered Ham pizza with mushrooms. Notes This incident brought SCP-3275 to the Foundation's attention. The order was made from the home of Dr. O'Nelly, a research assistant assigned to Site-76, who upon receiving the delivery was subjected to SCP-3275-2's complaints of the recurring problem. O'Nelly requested that SCP-3275-2 be brought in for questioning by the Foundation, after calling Pizza to confirm SCP-3275-2's claims. Experiment Log 3275-002 Date Ordered Sausage pizza with olives, mushrooms, and cheddar Delivered Tuna pizza with garlic, asparagus, basil, and mozzarella Notes SCP-3275-1 instances confirm to not necessarily contain the same number of toppings as requested in the order Experiment Log 3275-004 Date Ordered 
Pizza with nothing on it, aside from the standard tomato sauce bottom layer. Delivered. Pizza crust with eggs and meatballs spread over it. A shredded rubber glove was also present, lying in the center of the pizza. Notes. While the tomato sauce was usually present by default, it seems that explicitly asking for the sauce caused it to be absent here. The glove, as noted by SCP-3275-2, who was also sneezing profusely, seemed to be, quote, just another fucking thing that would make me look bad on the worst days. Experiment Log 3275-010 Date Ordered Sausage pizza with pineapples and eggplant. No $100 bills. Delivered Pepperoni pizza with hot sauce and seven $100 bills. All burnt, crumpled, or ripped to the point of being useless. No serial number could be identified from the bills. Notes SCP-3275-1 instances can contain non-food toppings, which manifest as if prepared like regular edible ingredients. Experiment Log 3275-012 Date Ordered Pepperoni pizza with olives and blue cheese Delivered Ham pizza with bell peppers and liquid diphenidian Footnote 6 Diphenidian is commonly used as a rodent poison, toxic to humans. Notes: This is the first time SCP-3275-1 manifested a topping unsafe for human consumption. The cooks at Pizza report that they do own a container of Kill Rat, a brand of rat poison. SCP-3275-2 noted to have appeared particularly ill upon delivery of this pizza, prompting intervention by Foundation personnel. SCP-3275-2's living conditions were noted to be hazardous due to unwashed laundry, undisposed trash, and a buildup of mildew near windows. Experiment Log 3275-013 Date Ordered Ham pizza with pineapple and red peppers Delivered Ham pizza with pineapple and red peppers Notes Prior to returning to work, SCP-3275-2 noted that he finally got around to cleaning his apartment and responding to utilities bills that he had neglected. SCP-3275-2 was noted to have shaved his facial hair and improved his personal hygiene regimen as well. Experiment Log 3275-019 Date Ordered Cheese Pizza Delivered Cheese pizza with excess quantity of tomato sauce. Notes SCP-3275-2 observed to have been regressing to previous health hazardous behaviors, most notably neglecting personal hygiene. Provision of additional intervention was discussed and deferred for the time being. Experiment Log 3275-025 Date Ordered Cheese pizza Delivered. Sausage pizza covered with carpenter ants. Closer inspection revealed all ant specimens to have been infected by a radioactive variant of cordyceps fungi. Notes. At the time of delivery, SCP-3275-2 was noted to have a severe cough. Investigation of SCP-3275-2's apartment uncovered an unpaid electricity bill and a cabinet filled with inexpensive instant meals and dirty disposable plastic utensils. Foundation intervention reinstated. SCP-3275-2 was given access to therapy and a regular apartment cleaning service. Due to SCP-3275 manifestations seemingly being related to SCP-3275-2's lifestyle, provision of health and career counseling to SCP-3275-2 has been proposed. Addendum 3275-B Foundation personnel performed regular interviews upon initial contact with SCP-3275-2. The first of these interviews is below. Interviewed SCP-3275-2 Interviewer Dr. Gans Forward Interview conducted on 
Data Foundation personnel's first in-person contact with SCP-3275-2. Begin Log Dr. Gans Alright, I know we introduced ourselves to one another right before this, but I need you to state your name for the record, please. SCP-3275-2 Oh, uh, right. Last name too, please. Oh shit, I, I didn't know I had to, man. Sorry, it's, uh... Thank you. So you know what this interview is about, right? Man, me and those fucking pizzas, man. It's shitty for me too, honestly. Though I don't really get why this is all necessary, you know? Like, what are you, like a cop? This feels like I'm really, like, being detained or something. Right now, we really just need you to answer some questions. You're not currently being accused of anything. Alright, cause I swear, dude, I'm not messing with the pizzas. I swear. It's like, I'm being, like, sabotaged or something. I don't think I've gotten a single one right. Not one? Since the first day you worked there? Not a single fucking one. And this just happens to me, cause like, I asked my colleague and he's had like, no problems like this. No one else that I asked did. Is someone out to like, frame me for something? Again, I don't really know what this like, place is, but you gotta find a way to fix this man. Why does this only happen to me? Right, so you have no idea what causes this, correct? I swear, my man, I don't. The thing, like, only happens when I deliver on the job. If I, like, pass my friend a box of chocolates, the chocolates don't change, know what I mean? Because he didn't order them. Though I don't know if it would happen with chocolates at all. I've only ever done pizza delivery. So it's pizza delivery specifically that seems to be the problem here. Is there anything odd about this job in particular then? Anything that stands out to you in your memory that could be of relevance? Nothing, man. This is the most, like, basic job ever. In fact, it being so fucking low tier is why my mom hated it. You're using past tense about your mom. Yeah, she passed away right before I started my first day at this job. I'm sorry to hear that. She hated this job, you said? Well, it's like, she always thought I could do better, know what I mean? That I'm, like, underperforming by getting a job like this? That I, like, should aim higher or something? Thing is, I'm an adult, you know? I can make the choices about my own life. I'm not, like, living the dream or anything, but I could be happy where I'm at. But my mom used to tell me that like, I should always be looking out for what more I can do and stuff. How to like, keep getting better. Did your mom mean a lot to you? She did, and like, I'm really sad that she's gone. It's just, she was so on my back all the time, you know? Clean this. Fix that. Go run some more errands. Like, there was always something else I had to do. Always more to worry about. Couldn't catch a break, ever. You lived with your mom then, seeing as she told you when to clean up? I did. Judge all you want, but like, I've always just been short on cash. That's why I have to even have this shitty job in the first place. And I can't even get that right. Finding the job was hard enough, but now this? And I've still got, like, bills and stuff, man. Alright, that will be all then. Thank you. No, wait, I have like, a ton of things to ask about this, man. Is it really true that you're paying my boss not to fire me? We can discuss further questions off record. End log. Discussion is underway regarding allowing SCP-3275-2 to transfer employment to a Foundation-owned catering company. Revision of containment procedures and allocation of specialty housing for SCP-3275-2 is pending.
Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis, Zagrate, and Ryan. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.